the Japanese Health Ministry is recommending to start the COVID protocol once again. That is wearing of masks in public, frequent hand washing and hand sanitizing and observing the three C's. That is avoiding crowded places, closed spaces and close contact with people. But this time, the culprit is not COVID. Rather, it is a potentially fatal flesh-eating disease causing the streptococcal toxic shock syndrome that is rising at alarming rates in Japan. The disease was first discovered in 1992 and since then every year they have been having 100 to 200 cases of this disease. But this time the rise is really alarming. In 2023, they had 941 confirmed cases, which broke their previous year's records. But this year, already in these first two months of January and February, there have been 348 confirmed cases. It is a highly, highly virulent infectious disease and the mortality rate is about 30%. What causes it? It is caused by the infectious strains of Streptococcus pyogenes, commonly known as Strep A, the Streptococcus aureus. How does it get into the body? It gets into the body by direct contact, by inhaling the droplets that come out of the mouth and nose uh, of the infected people when they are coughing and sneezing. And it can get to others through contact with the infected wounds present on the hands and feet of these people infected with the Strep A virus. Now, the virus is present all around the world. There are nearly 700 to 1100 cases every year in US also. But why is it spreading so fast in Japan? The reason is yet unknown. They are trying to figure it out that what is causing the rapid increase this time. So you need to recognize the symptoms produced by this so that you can uh, take it and consider it as a medical emergency and go to your doctors immediately so that you can be treated in time. Because once the toxic shock syndrome develops, the disease can rapidly progress to death within 36 hours. So what happens? These toxins, once they enter the body, the organism, when it enters the body, uh, it starts producing toxins. These toxins can rapidly reach the bloodstream and from there they can reach to the different organs like the lungs, the heart, the liver and kidneys and it can start eating the flesh by necrotizing the tissues the connective tissues that are binding the muscles so even those people who are cured from the disease they can sometimes have lifelong disabilities because their limbs might actually be eaten by the virus now who is at risk the children they are often uh, infected with the strep A, throat infections, the very elderly. But last year, there was an alarming rise of deaths in the age groups between 30 to 50 years. So we can say that no age group is actually safe. Now, what are the symptoms? Normally, it remains symptomless and there is just a little cough and cold and uh, sore throat. These people who show no symptoms themselves can sometimes be carriers and transmit the disease to others who may be susceptible. Now for those where the disease progresses and reaches the shock level, they start having high grade fever, feeling cold, having chills, their heart rate increases, their breathing becomes rapid and shallow they go into hypotension, that is the blood pressure reduces drastically. They may have skin infections and a typical type of sunburn like rash on their skin. And then it can lead to organ failure very, very quickly. And again, the necrosis of the tissues. So it is a medical emergency. Don't take your sore throats lightly. Consult the doctor. Get yourself tested if the doctor feels the need. 
there have to be different kinds of blood tests for this the blood cultures can be given uh, to isolate the virus then swabs can be advised uh, for uh, diagnosis for uh, separating the organism from the throat from the nose from the vagina or the cervix now what is the treatment it is treated by antibiotics either the penicillins or amoxicillins or a combination of antibiotics may be needed and sometimes uh, the first generation cephalosporins also work very well most of the strep aureus infections can be treated with these antibiotics now you have to be hospitalized in case you are suffering such problem and then there will be other medications to control the fever to control the low blood pressure you may require oxygen uh, so that the breathing is proper then uh, there may be need of rehydration you might need iv fluids to keep the body rehydrated because in shock you may be losing a lot of fluid then surgical intervention may be needed at times when the uh, disease the necrosed parts of the tissues have to be removed surgically from the wounds on the hands and feet so even those people who survive may have life disabilities then the only way you can do is to take the precautionary measures and take your antibiotics when the doctor advises it so stay safe share the information and uh, practice your basic hygiene and the uh, maintaining of the distance from people when you are in public places because air travel is very very frequent and we never know when the disease might reach to us thank you assalam alaikum